What's going on, YouTube? My name is Simon Sniped, and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to do a really, really quick and short video to just talk about the reroll system and what we can actually do to actually... Today, I'll be sharing with you guys a short and simple video on how to reroll for DK when it finally comes out in about a few hours. I assume by the time this video is even up, you're probably about four to five hours away. If you live in the same time zone, GMT plus eight, it's going to be 6 a.m., but um, you, 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 you get it, right? GMT plus eight, 6 a.m. on Friday. So I'm super excited. I hope you're excited too. Now, before I begin, I would first like to say that um, a lot of the information that I'll be sharing with you are very much inspired by the Pride1.gg platform. And if you didn't know what that is, technically Pride1.gg is a treasure trove of information. Uh, technically, they talk about the game Countersight, Artery Gear Fusion, and recently they just added another one, uh, which is Nikkei. And it's being spearheaded by Timaeus. So, uh, just give the guy some love. He is doing a lot for the community. He's releasing a lot of videos, and I believe he's the official partner of a Nikkei as well. Content creator partner, I guess. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm going to put this right up there. A lot of the things, information I'm going to share with you, including the reroll guide and also what units you should be pulling for, are purely based on my personal interpretation, based on the information that is available on these platforms, and also looking at other information shared by the other content creators. I don't know. Uh, I, I bet a lot of people you watch, I watch as well. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the reroll guide. Now, reroll rerolling for this game is very, very simple because it wasn't built into the game by itself. The game doesn't really want to motivate you to just keep on rolling for characters for free. Uh, so they don't really have an integrated reroll system. But don't worry, as you probably already know, if let's say this is not your first reroll guide, very easy. There are two general ways that you can reroll in this particular game. Right, the first way to reroll is basically to just uh, create an account using an email uh, recommended to be a Gmail because you can use the sort system, which I guess some people call it spoofing as well. Technically speaking, to just make long story short and to not bore you with the details, it's like it's using your own Gmail address, but adding a plus sign behind your uh, in your email address's name before the Elias. So let me give an example. Let's say now on the first try, I go for Simon Snipe plus one at gmail.com. And let's say I'm done with the poll. I'm not very happy with it. I want to do another run. I just log out of the account, create another account using Simon Snipe plus two at gmail.com. And you can start the game all over again. Technically speaking, you can just keep going on and on and on and on, but I wouldn't recommend doing too many times because in the end of the day, you kind of beat the purpose of playing a gacha game. It's Nikkei, you know, people, people, people play Nikkei because of waifus and jiggle mechanics. I know jiggle mechanics, right? J -j 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 jiggle mechanics, but just enjoy the game, guys. It's still a game in the end, in, in, in the most, you know, basic sense. You play gacha because you're gambling to a certain extent, and it's okay to get not get the one unit that everybody is saying that you're supposed to get, and that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to tell you why later in this video. So like I was saying, the first method is what I just told you, which is you create an account using a Gmail and then you log in. Uh, make sure it's either uh, it's not linked to any of the account when you log in. OK, don't link it to Google. Don't link it to Facebook, anything. Don't do it. Just create a new account when you log into the game after you select the region and just use the email address that method that was 1210. And just use the email method that I was telling you about. Another way to do it is basically to have multiple Gmail accounts. This is super straightforward, right? If let's say your Gmail account A doesn't work, go for Gmail account B, but it's going to require you a lot of different email addresses, which it's really up to you whether how many you want to make. And that's basically it. Uh, I was told that a lot of the other methods, like for example, clearing cache doesn't really work because somehow the data is being locked to the particular email. And even if you do delete that email account, it's going to take up to 30 days before it actually clears. So it is what it is. So now we've got the email creation out of the way. Let's now talk about to what extent you need to play the game in order to get your free polls. So the process technically takes about 10 minutes or so. That's what I was told, but it really depends on what happens during launch. So technically speaking, uh, what you basically need to do is you start your game and then you go through the tutorial, complete chapter zero and chapter one. And at the end of chapter one, you'll be given the free 10 pool, which guarantees you one SSR. Now, after you get that one SSR or you did the first pull, you can actually basically claim another 3k gems from the free pre-registration reward to do another 10 pull. Usually people will ask you to stop right here, but you, if let's say your pulls are really, really good or you have the units that you want, you probably want to keep that account. You can 
still push it to chapter 2. So they can get another, you know, 10 pull, uh, 16 pulls, if I'm not mistaken. But do correct me if I am wrong. Now, this just came in not too long ago, but apparently people have been verifying that you actually get 110 free pulls as well. I do not have too much information on that. Do not quote me on it. I know there is 110 pull, but how exactly you access that, I guess you just have to wait. I mean, when you log into the game, you'll probably see it anyway. Right. For those of you who's watching this video very, very much later down the road, maybe the 110 pool don't exist anymore. But generally speaking, the reroll process starts from chapter zero, finish a tutorial, finish chapter one, get your free 10 pool with a guaranteed SSR and get your 3K pre-registration reward gems to do another 10 more pool. And if let's say you do 20 pulls and you don't get all the units you want, you can probably just reroll all over again. So moving on to the next thing that I want to talk about is basically now that you know the entire reroll process, how does it work? You want to think about what units you want to keep. Okay. I totally agree with what Vulcan says. The game is just way too early for you to even consider what exactly is top tier, what exactly isn't top tier, what exactly is trash. Now, the thing is, you can probably tell we... You know, with all database available, you know, character skills, stats, and all this stuff, shenanigans, you can probably tell individually um, how powerful a specific unit is by looking at the synergy of the skills. Like, for example, you don't want a unit with a basic attack which is freakishly low, but, but every other skill just does a lot of damage. Doesn't really make much sense. So, uh, in that respect, uh, you can probably also go to pridewin.gg. They have currently released a tier list, but based on just how well they do based on the character itself and what it was meant to be doing. Take it with a pinch of salt. It is there for a reason. It is definitely not the Bible of the game, right? Just take it as a reference. But then, but then, but then, what are the type of characters that you want to pull? Okay, I have to be very, very honest. I was not involved in any of the test servers or any of the beta tests. Uh, when they were available because I just didn't manage to get myself into it. So here's here's what the Pride one actually suggests. So now if I scroll all the way down, we skip all these details and whatnot. If you need to, by all means, head on over to this page. It, it's, it's a public page, right? If you don't need me to show you on video where you can just sit down there and watch it and where you can just open it up on your screen and then you just, just follow the process, right? You don't need that. So uh, the next thing I want to tell you about is when you do your reroll, you can have up to four units in a particular team. Now, here's the thing. Regardless of what game that you're playing, as long as they have roles like DPS, tanks, supports, etc., you definitely want to go for the DPS first during your reroll process. Now, hear me out, and this is why. Imagine playing a game where you need to progress. The objectives are always to clear stages, and the only way you can clear stages is to be able to defeat the enemies they throw at you, correct? And who does that best. DPS always does that best because their entire existence is to just keep dealing damage, just killing stuff. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a for the first two units that you want to pull, possibly three SSR units that you want to pull. The guaranteed one will only give you one, but the 3K gems might land you two. I don't know. There are plenty of different luck sacks all over the world, right? In the event that you do get three SSRs, you will never go wrong with two SS, uh, DPS SSRs and one support. Now, I also agree that the Defender class should always be your least priority. I mean, I'm not saying that units is trash. Don't get me wrong. The unit definitely might not be trash. Uh, and the, specifically, the Defender that everybody's talking about is Ludmilla. She has an absolutely good, great tank. She taunts. She does everything a tank is supposed to do. Now, but the thing is, you're not going to clear stages at the early game, especially when you're trying to progress through the content by using a tank. Makes sense, right? So if that's the case, you should always try to pull for DPS units. I mean, it's also not the end of the world if, let's say, your pulls are getting landing you on support units and they're not really the top two, top two units that people are talking about, but it's absolutely fine, right? So I would advise... Play the game according to what you like. If let's say there's a specific waifu that you really, really just want to simp for, if it's possible, make it a DPS waifu. And if let's say it's a DPS waifu, you can just hop onto pridewin.gg, go through the database and see what other units can actually complement that DPS waifu. And then you can just play one however the hell you want and I hope you have a good time. So technically that's how... Uh, so technically, that's the advice I would like to give in when it comes to what sort of units you should pull. Um, I can definitely pull up the tier list on pride1.gg, but I really do not want to, to do it in this video because it's going to be exceptionally long. I'll just leave it at that. 
So if you have any questions or recommendations, please leave it in the comment section below. Hit the like button, give the video some love, subscribe to the channel so that I can always update you with more content. And of course, don't compare me with the bigger ones. I am definitely not as good as them. But if you enjoy watching my content, please feel free to just stick around. And I stream once a week, which is on Wednesday. Do come by and just, just play games together. But oh, I will also be streaming the game tomorrow at 8 p.m. GMT plus 8. For those who are watching the video in the future, sorry, it's already way, way, way over. Technically launch day, okay? Uh, hope to see you guys there. I'll be streaming it on YouTube. Until the next video, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.